it is hot out here. It is hot. Well, what's up? What's going on? All right, I am here at J Bros uh, truck stop, a truck parking lot because they're not open 24 hours. You know, I went in there last night. Uh, it, it's a small mom and pop uh, truck stop. And this is what I was telling you guys in my previous videos about how I feel about mom and pop truck stops. Because here, as you can see in the background, there's plenty, plenty of parking. I'm talking plenty. All of a sudden I seen, it says J Bros Truck Stop. And I looked on my Ram and Nelly and I was like, whoa, it's, it's not even on there. So I came off turned up into the parking lot and I was like hey now this is what I'm talking about mom and pop truck stops I'm telling you guys I'm telling you guys you will find more parking and less stress at a mom and pop truck stop than you would at any other majors you know and you guys know what I mean loves Flying J's, you know, the, all, all of the majors, you know. Now, this one is like an Indian, they got a restaurant, but I think it's Indian food. I'm not a fan of Indian food. Not, not a fan, not a fan. But I do like it. It's, 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 it's a, you know, it's a small truck stop. It's a family, it's a family truck stop, you know, little restaurant, fuel you know a little convenience store but as you guys can see i am right here sitting down on my laptop on my laptop um i'm taking my 34 right now i figured that what i'm gonna i'm gonna do for this particular trip that i'm on right now heading to ohio and to make it feasible for when I get up there now right now I'm on recaps right now and I just realized that since I was on recaps today or last night the hours that dropped off last night didn't give me no hours today to drive but about six hours yesterday uh, which was very good which was very good because it was like nine it's it was about I don't know 20 hours about 19 20 hours to get you know from here to Ohio so I I burnt out I burnt six six of that which now I got like 14 hours or 1445 hours uh, 15 hours uh, that I got total to get from here to Ohio. All right, I'm doing good time right now. I'm on I-80. It's just pretty much a straight shot. Um, so what I did last night was pre-trip from here to Ohio, so that I can uh, so that I can get an understanding on how far and how much time I got left to get here. I mean, to get there from here to Ohio. I got two hours and some change to drive today, but I figured that would be a waste because what I'm getting back tonight is about seven hours, all right? So that only give me seven hours to drive tomorrow. Now, the, now the load is not due until Monday at 11 o'clock so either way uh, either way if I would have just did the rest of my recaps it wouldn't have gave me no time when I drop the load in Akron it wouldn't give me no time to make it to my house in Cleveland 
because that's the plan. I want to, when I, when I get to Akron, I want to stop over at the house and, and chill, you know, for a day. In other, in other words, I want to take my 34 at the house. All right. That was the whole entire plan until I realized that I didn't have no, didn't have no hours coming back to night that allowed me to drive. So basically what I'm doing today is, is just taking my 34. All right. So that I can get, so that I can get my hours back. Now, being that I'm taking doing my 34, um, that it give me a fresh clock tomorrow. So I will drive the 11 hours tomorrow. All right. So, or I wouldn't even say 11 hours. I say maybe drive the 10 hours tomorrow. Right. So that'll be an all day drive, and then. Monday, I will have maybe about three, I want to round it up, I'll have about four hours to get it to the shipper. So, if I get up, normally I get up about six o'clock, or no, I get up at five and start driving at six, but if I up the, the time an hour early, say, if I get up at four and start driving at five, I will have it at the shipper before 11. Now my appointment is at 11, but they might get me in early and they might not get me in early. But that's the plan. See, once I get to the shipper and drop it, then I'm heading to the house. I know that was a bit, I know that was a bit much, you know. Of course, that's where editing comes in at, so I will definitely chop it down a little bit. What I'm gonna do uh, when I get home is of course take care of my home stuff get me a haircut hang out with my son a little bit and then get back into the truck i'll do all that good stuff i'll be right back on the road with a fresh 70 and um and get back at it and what i was you know it, this is a this this is something that i've been thinking about for a long time is truck stops you know a lot of people have tr talked about truck stops i mean you, it's all over all all of us youtube drivers if you're new to youtube or if you just now coming in then all you got to do is type in the search bar trust stops and everybody has an opinion on it my two cents on the uh on the situation and my two cents is this all right majors all right and when i'm speaking of majors i'm talking i'm talking loves flying jays petros pilot and tas those those are the majors i think it's five one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five majors, all right? And when I'm speaking of the majors, that pretty much lets you know what I'm talking about. Um, when I'm speaking of mom and pops, then those are the are the small are the are the small family owned type deals. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that's those are the ones that may may or may not be on the Ram and Nally when you when you're looking up truck stops the when you trip plan. Them the ones that you just so happen to come through. I mean come through when when you're driving. You know. You just happen to you just happen to look up and see a sign off in the in the distance and you'd be like, whoa. It's a, it's a truck stop down there. The majors is just what they are. You know what I'm saying? With them, if you don't get in there at a certain time, you can forget about finding a spot. Down in the south, down in the south, you'll find more truck stops, more options down south, and going in uh, northeast and stuff like that. Truck stops become a <laughs> become a dime a dozen up there. It's so like I said, if you don't get in if you don't get in there at a certain time, then you you might as well forget it. You know, then you probably you probably might you know run out of time in order. You know, when you run out of time, then you pretty much gonna have to stop the truck pretty much anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you run out of time and you don't want to mess around with your H O S. All right. 
I like mom and pops better than I do the majors. Be able to find, you, you, you'll be able to find a lot more spots. You know, anytime during the day, even at night, you'll be able to find, you'll be able to find a spot. You know, whether it's an open gravel lot or, or a parking lot, you, you will find a spot at a mom and pop truck stop, all right? Now, if you're doing your 30 or your 10, then that'll be perfect. Now, I can understand if you're doing the 34, then that's different. You want to stay at a major when you're doing your 34. Preferably a Petro, you know, because they got they got the better, they got the better, um, they got the better driver's lounge. All right, and my favorite major, of course, is Love's. You know, so I'm always on the lookout for a Loves. So definitely I'd, I'd go to Loves, you know, fuel, shower, and scale. Boom, done with that. Before I get off, um, still representing the Cavs. You know what I'm saying? They came back last night, you know, but I'm still on the fence whether or not they're gonna pull a miracle off you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know they did it last year and I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it again this year but they did break records last night you know but they still three down you know what I'm saying so maybe that's a rally car a rally cry last night I don't know well Look, that's it. I'm done. Lockout men, out.